Well, as I mentioned just before the break, local retail giants falling short. If results out this month are anything to go by, even went past a billboard this week, which advertised the for sale sign on seven shopping centers. And they're not even up for sale. They're going to be auctioned because nobody actually wants to buy them on the open market. ShopRite's earnings declining for the first time in 19 years. MassMart struggling to deliver for its American investor, Walmart. And we're taking stock on these movements with Vestag's Paul Turon and Ngareng Mbobane from Ashburton Investments. Paul Turon, you wanted mm. to take issue with the fact that we don't have any excitement on the JSE. Well, you know, what one is really looking for in investing is those companies that are able to double or transform their earnings and their profits so I think there are a few in our local market uh, I think discovery deserves to be on that list because it's doing all those fun things with vitality globally Naspers has definitely got to be there because of the exciting 10 cent business Bedcorp I think is exciting Aspen's got stuff going on so it's not like it's all awful but even the, our banks these are doing that, but, great but those things. are four great examples mm. of South African businesses doing really cool things somewhere else mm. And that's yeah. Well, at home and somewhere else. And you're right. Some of the companies that are done well here go international and then do terribly badly. Yes. Like famous yeah. brands or Woolworths. Yeah. So anything currently a little bit extended that's in the consumer-facing arena, obviously battling. Mm. I mean, Discovery is an interesting one. Um, I've asked Adrian Gould this question before, and he gave me the death stare that Paddington Bear gives in that very well-known movie by the same name. And, and it's that don't ask me that question stare. And that is, is Ping An, the 20% stake in Ping An, which is the world's biggest insurer, they've got a 20% stake in Ping An Health, is that Discovery's 10 cent? What's the answer to the question? I think the market has been waiting for many years for that to finally turn into a 10 cent for discovery. Even if it's a 5 cent, we'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> I will say though that um, the market is also has been willing to, to let them play that whole story out. Um, but you probably need to be aware that, you know, it's a well catered for market in the govern government healthcare space, um, well catered for there. So um, I think the private healthcare space for Ping on in China, um, you know, servicing expats and et cetera, mm. and the very high segments, income segments, it's, uh, it, it caps at a certain point. Okay, so you don't believe that the Ping on health stake is but, Discovery's 10 cents? But you've got a billion plus population mm. size, so 10% market people share jump. is yes. good. Right. Yeah. It's, it's a very good It's an exciting cool. story. No, I think it could at least be a one cent or a two cent because <laughs> they have Ping on that is 300 million, I almost said thousand, 300 million customers. Yeah. That's in their life insurance and everything else business. Mm. And uh, I think Chinese state hospitals are a little bit like South African ones. I mean, people are covered, but if you do have the ability, private insurance does seem like a good idea. So I'm very optimistic about that. It's interesting Adrian doesn't like to talk about it. I think there was concern at some point they may have to put in some capital. But let's see. I'm, I'm full of hope that that and the other JVs with other insurers mm -hmm. could make a serious contribution in real time. Aspen's been coming to life. I mean, Aspen Pharmacare, so the great South African success story, 150 countries. Their anesthetic products, how's this for a statistic? Their anesthetic products, well, their sterile products, mostly anesthetics, are used by 900 people every minute of every day, 365 days a year around the world. I mean, that's a huge amount, and that's Great. stuff made in an Aspen factory somewhere in the world. They've got some like 25 factories across the globe in 25 countries. I mean, Aspen Pharmacare, it got nailed at the beginning of this year with the, first it was the Steinoff report, and then came out the speculation that Aspen could be nice the next story. Steinoff, um, and the share price got nailed, yeah. uh, and then it wasn't. And recently, the, in the last two weeks or so, Aspen's begun to tick up a little mm. bit. Yeah, so I think South Africa, it's been a darling as far as South African stocks go, and investors have really liked management. The, lo, this year, yes, has been difficult, but even last year, you know, it wasn't amazing. The year before, they were facing the, the hard currency debt profile, and they, they've got their debt in hard currency, and you're earning rands at all emerging market currency. So that was challenging. They've come through the rough, but we still like the assets, so um, a lot of their drug assets. So we're thinking um, formula Chinese in, in the in the baby, the baby formula. milk formula in yeah. China again. Still very China small. play 
is an interesting one, isn't it? I mean, yeah. China had a problem a couple of years ago with melamine getting into the baby milk formula and yeah. executives of companies that poison children got executed. It's a higher risk game. You don't want to mess with that. <laughs> um, but Aspen has got this big baby milk formula and it's big in China and growing. Yeah, 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 and growing. There's some regulatory issues there, but they had an opportunity to bring more product in before a change of rules. Uh, mm. But yes, we'll see results from Aspen quite soon. And as you say, the share price has been trending back towards 300 Rand a share. Look, it's a somewhat mid-sized player in the global pharma business, but they are good operators. And Stephen Saad, I think, is a very talented executive. And so we've got great hopes there. Yeah. Mm. Pick up on that story and a couple more in just a couple of minutes' time. Private education, banking, and, of course, retail. When last did you go and spend your hard-earned cash in a Woolies, did you go and buy a high fashion item in a Woolies or did you get it at a discount? They're in trouble, uh, the company is, from a fashion perspective. They're certainly in trouble in Australia with a business there called David Jones. More on that after this break.